I'm walking. I'm leaving. Like, what's right now, my tags are expired on my car. You may kiss the bride. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. She's <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. You okay? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Take. Huh, let's go. Huh, set. Huh, let's roll. Straining. 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 Yeah. Straining. 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 Yeah. Don't not get straining, but straining. Don't not get straining, but straining. Don't not get straining, but straining. You don't get shit straight, you don't straining. In this gang, sit back, be patient. Gang. Niggas act like the gang went vacant. Huh? Niggas act like some been taken. What? Ain't nothing but a little bit of straining. Okay. Been kicking shit, popping out daily. Go. On the island, it's a movie I'm making. I'm counting the narrows, a robber the narrow. He tell this is our hotel we stayed at the strat hotel we checked in on that little kiosk thing the line was very long but check-in wasn't too bad it had multiple restaurants multiple slot machines gift shops like everything upstairs downstairs really nice <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my hair is a mess. Wig is not wigging. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be a vlog. My best friend is getting married, so me and my cousin, we're here in Vegas. And uh, if you're new here, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the channel before you leave. This is our room. <laughs> mm, what's up here? Oh. Okay, storage. Then at the strat, we got a mirror, bathroom, towel, sliding door. My head is starting hurting again. Got a walk-in shower that do not look too good. If we're being honest, should have brought me some flip-flops. She put a, her own sheet on her bed. <laughs> Got a cute little picture. Air condition and then our view that ain't really Nathan. See a little stain in sitting. Got a plane coming in. By Denny. That you amazing, put that shit on, shit on. Didn't get shit on, I bought two whoops and I put my bitch on She put this wrist on, she fat the reset it with your milk prong Turn a pandemic into a pandemic, you know that's the shit that we on Them niggas gon' pull up and act like this shit is I like this This is cute Where is it supposed to go? In the ponytail? Oh. 
It's supposed to go right before the ponytail. Be secure. Okay. I think you like the better right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks very like pretty. Does it feel very elegant? Where are your stud? Oh, if it fall off while I'm walking, I'm leaving. Like, what's what's holding your ponytail up? Yeah. A clip, a claw clip. So we shouldn't gonna yes. wear a metal one. The one you bought. <laughs> All right, let me get some pictures. Or is he? When is he? Hello, hello. <laughs> it's Miss Rushing. She's so don't rush me. Oh okay. my god. No That's pun so intended. Good. He be saying that. He lame. I'm lame too. I'm gonna give me a BBL. Y'all ain't really telling me shit. You don't even need so, it. No. <laughs> she swear I'm gonna get boxed and then she's gonna have to defend me. Oh <laughs> my gosh. All right. You do this? Like, why we don't go outside? Okay, you wanna really like more? Yeah. These are just the pre. The pre. How does it look? Good or no? No, Beautiful. the lighting's bad, but. Okay, let's go there. You need to use the light. Okay, you, the light. you got his ring. Right. My vows. I got this. Vows. His ring in there. there. Ring mm -hmm. is in there. We don't need the receipt and shit, but whatever. We're just gonna keep everything this box. <laughs> we not.
Who gives away this woman to this man? I do. I do too. <laughs> Amen. Um, to spend the rest of my life with you is an honor. I often feel like the most blessed woman in the world to wake up every day and have you in my life. When I prayed to God for a husband, he gave me you. And you are far greater than anything I could have imagined or asked for. I vow to be your best friend. I promise to be faithful and to always communicate with you. I vow to support you in all that you do. I promise to make you my first priority. I vow to love you. I promise to always make time for us. I vow to love you through thick and thin, sickness and in health. I promise to respect you. Alois Denise Smith, soon to be Russian. I love you more than you could imagine. I love you as much as God will allow me to. As a young man, I will wonder, how do you know? You found her. You found, you found the right person for you. And often people say, you'll know. Today, I can confidently say, without an ounce of doubt, I know. And I've known early on in our relationship, you come into my life and quickly made your presence felt. And naturally, I found it impossible to imagine a life of life without you. With that being said, these are my vows to you. I vow to love you on our good days and our worst days. I vow to lead us through our easy paths and through our toughest obstacles. I promise to always prioritize communication in our marriage. I vow to support you in everything you hope to achieve. I vow to physically, emotionally, and spiritually protect you every day of our lives. In your vulnerability, I find my strength. I vow to be your guardian, your partner, in every battle in your refuge in time of need. Together, we'll shield each other from life challenges and cherish our love. I vow to love you unconditionally, now and forever. And lastly, I vow to never betray you and to be faithful to you. I will always be committed to our love and honor the trust you placed in me. I love you. Amen. Amen. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Pray <laughs> and jump in the broom into your future. On three, we'll all say one, two, three, and you will jump. Ready? One, two, three.
star, not the doctor. Just calling my phone like I'm locked up. Now nah, I'm stuck on the plane to the fucking helicopter. Yeah. Cops pulling up like I'm picking drugs out. Nah, nah, I'm a pop star, not the doctor. I'm a pop star, not a doctor. I'm a pop. We are now, I have not updated y'all at all. Like, baby, we just been moving. But we are now at our hotel, the Strat. We're sitting at the Strat. And we are at the 106th like, or 7th floor. Lighting is horrible, but we're at the very top. And the bottom under us down there, they're actually spinning. And then us up top, we're just kind of sitting still. But literally, the view is to die for. Super, super cute. Um, I got lamb and a baked potato. Then I got the pork chop. Did you get a side? The potato puree and asparagus and asparagus. So we are super duper duper excited. I can't see because I don't got my glasses on. But yeah, it was supposed to meet up with Nikki, but she wanna stay with her husband. So we're not gonna go see her. We're supposed to go to the club where Yo Gotti is. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking because I may get copyrighted from this music they playing. So I'll do a voiceover of everything else. Vegas Donna. <laughs> I don't know shit about Tupac. Me neither, but phone. they've been talking about this before. Um, 1996, 25 year old Tupac she was killed in a drive by. Duh, duh, duh. On the, he was fine. On the yeah. corner of. <laughs> Dang, where'd it go? No, this is crazy. Tupac shit. Wait, wait. Click on. Okay. I'm trying to zoom in. Oh, uh, we just passed the E Flamingo and the whatever. Shot four times, stuff with a red light. He passed away from his wound six days after the incident. The shooter was never found. Yeah, I'm glad they said never found because guess what? They said it was a drive by, they was driving, it was no keys in the ignition. They got a picture of them and there's no keys in the ignition. Hey y'all, I am back at home. Have not been vlogging at all really since the vegas trip but i'm back home it is literally wednesday i got here sunday and i've literally been asleep all day sunday mostly my day and i was editing non-stop for like two days i got two packages to go deliver for my um business i took out my sewing and stuff like that and these are the braids i literally been brushing and combing through my hair i have not actually like washed my scalp scalp since august 20 something and this is <laughs> the aftermath of my hair um you know i had a traditional sew in so i was able to wash this front part and i washed my like actual bundles but you know you can't really get deep in there because of the webs and stuff like that so right now my tags are expired on my car so i am trying to get a different insurance company i was with farmers union and now i'm going to be with progressive again but i did oh progressive <laughs> so i gotta pay 200 dollars from when i had counseled my service with them i didn't pay them the extra 200 because i'm like if y'all y'all they had got too high and so now farmers union 
I was paying like 112, 113, then it went up to like 160, then it went up to 200, and now it um if I um renew it, it was going to be like 2 269. You're insane. Like my car is not brand new no more. I got my car in 2021 and it was a 2022. So, yeah, I'm going with progressive now. Um I'm going to do like the snapshot driving and stuff like that. My cousin has it and you know whatever. We'll try it out. Um, and plus, I don't really just drive too crazy anyway, and I don't really drive anyway. I go to work and back home. So, I'm going to do progressive. I'm going to do snapshot to save even more. Right now, it's going to be about like $115 a month. So, not too bad. And I'm about to do my best friend and my cousin is telling me like what I need to do for my deductible and stuff like that. So, yeah, I need to go renew my tags. I got to get my car assessed. And a whole bunch of the hoopla today, and I gotta go mail off two packages. This was gonna be part of my entrepreneur series, but I'll probably just plug in something. But yeah, my battery's about to die, so just wanted to say that even $500 is a lot, but it's doable. You have to think about if something happens to you, you'll be able to come up with $570. Okay. deductible let's see what they give me okay so i'm gonna be paying about 121 a month which is better than 269 dollars period so yeah i got an unpaid balance of 247 dollars and i'm gonna go ahead and pay that and then i gotta pay the 121 so lord jesus like another 300 dollars then nevertheless i just filed my taxes um over the weekend in vegas I don't know why why do I like to why do I wait to the last minute to do stuff? Granted, I didn't know my tags was expiring. My tags expired last month. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. Didn't even know my tags was expiring. My dad used to keep up with all of this, but since he took me off all his crap, now I gotta do all this. So from now on, I'm gonna do a yearly reminder on my phone. I do like reminders like that all the time. So I'm gonna do a yearly reminder for me to do my taxes and assess my car and stuff like that, because baby. This is just too much, okay? So yeah, okay. So $121 a month, not bad at all. Definitely better than paying like $270, okay? I'm gonna do snapshot. Okay, I think this is what I want to do right here. Almost finished, mobile number, driver's license number, my VIN number, continue. Whew. And my coverage is going to start today because you got to have insurance when you go renew your tags and set your car. So I'm just going to show them over the phone. Choose your payment plan. I can pay it in full right now, which I may actually do next month. I may just go ahead and pay it so I ain't even got to worry about insurance because this is really annoying. I got to pay. I can pay $9.28 right now. Don't really want to give y'all all my money. So we can do automatic. So they're going to do a six. Okay. 368 today and then my payments will be 123 each month which is a heck of a lot better so 368 dollars right now choose what you want to make we're gonna do it on my checking account because it's cheaper oh lord honey now i can't be speeding this stuff girl oh. <laughs> and it's funny because i was right with my cousin in her car um congrats to dana if you're watching she got her a new mercedes benz period Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and print out my insurance card, even though I added it to my Apple wallet. Um, yeah. And I have a app on my phone that I connect to my printer, print it out, or I can plug it into my computer and print it out either way. But I just went ahead and printed it like this. And see, I don't know why it's not showing nothing. Let me try to do color, because when I print in black and white, nothing prints out. Like, I know I'm low on ink, but God dang. If I still got a little bit, use it. I'm gonna try it in color. <laughs> Your job has been sent waiting on printer confirmation. Like, baby girl, please print. Okay, there we go. So I gotta get some more black ink, I guess, because every time I try to print in black, it doesn't work. And even printing in color is so freaking light to where you can't even see it. Like, girl. I'm doing it anyway. All right, I'm done. Now I have to call and get my car assessed. It's literally 109, so I kind of want to go ahead and get 
my car stuff out the way because I don't want to be riding around with expired tags. Like, yes, it's been a month <laughs> since it expired, but now that I know they expired, it's like I've been just, you know, make sure no police is behind me, like just really on edge. <laughs> so I would like to, I need my insurance and I need my registration as well. Okay, 501. Yes, um, I was calling to get my car, sis. <laughs> okay, and what is your last name? Baker. What's your first name? Akira. And what's your um, address? Um, I moved, so my new address is... You said Akira Baker, like A-K-I-R-A? A-K-E-I-R-A. Oh. <laughs> and the letter P like Peter. Okay. All right, so that's it. You're good to go. All righty, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, I hate being grown. This is Dopey. All right, let me take a picture of this just in case. All right, hopefully this don't cost a lot because baby, I know getting another like little sticker is no more than like $60, but girl, and now my phone froze. Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and head to the revenue office. It is like 20 minutes away from me. It's 115, they close at 430. And I do need to drop off these bundles, so. They ain't taking up my account yet. Girl, tell me why I get here. And she's like, all right, $37. What? Wait, never mind. You got a credit on your account. Baby, what do you mean I got a credit? So I guess two years ago, I had like overpay for something. I don't know. So I didn't have to pay for my tax last year. And I didn't have to pay this year. So I need to call this number they gave me to get my refund. The black lady in there was like, girl, get her that number so she can get her check. <laughs> and so they owe me $73.22, period. So I don't really know what I assess my car. I don't know. But I'm about to put this sticker on my thing so I can like be cool and stop ducking and dodging the police because baby, no ma'am. That literally took all of like three minutes probably. So I'm about to put this sticker on the back of my thing real quick and start at this car because baby, it's hot today. It's supposed to be five. All right, did that. And I guess they closed down the Sally's Beauty Supply because, baby, I needed some shampoo. Now I guess I got to go to Walmart. And on my Amazon storefront, I have this little thing to keep your insurance information in, your car registration, all of that. Um, I got black because, you know, I don't want to have any pink or anything in here. I got, like, just regular colors. So I need to take out this insurance card, actually, because that's old. And then I got another one right here. So I'm just going to kind of rip this a little bit and fold. It's very faint, but I got it until they actually send me one or I print out another one. So I'm going to put my new insurance information in here as well. And then it just folds up and you're good. Girl, that's the quickest I've ever been in and out the revenue office, okay? All right, so now I got to go drop off these packages and I'm about to see if this girl wants this wig let me dm her real quick yes you okay <laughs> that's true oh that's the dollar general right over here that i could have went to just spent $25 in Dollar General. Went in there for toothpaste and conditioner and come out with cleaning stuff and all kind of other stuff. Thank you. You too. Let me check my burger real quick. Before I roll out. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, he doing a little too much. Come on, go. 
go. Got a waiting wheel track. Come on now, you messing me up now. All right, got me some McDonald's. I'm about to eat. Wait on this girl to come by this hair in the parking lot. All right, she should be here soon. I'm about to eat. I already used hand sanitizer, but I'm gonna put a little bit more on. So it's much later in the day. I got everything done that I had to get done outside of here. My battery is low, but I'm about to go ahead and wash my hair. I needed some more conditioner, so I just picked this up from Dollar General. Went to Dollar General to get conditioner in toothpaste. Got the toothpaste, got the conditioner. I never had this brand before, but I wanna say all of Destiny was using this before and it seemed like it was a really good product. Honestly, I just needed something quick. I had everything else that I needed. Then get in there buying random stuff, got some non-stick spray as well as a freaking lock for my locker at work to lock that and then i needed some more like floor cleaner or whatever i was going to get mr clean but this was a little bit cheaper and you get a little bit more in this bottle so i'm going to be putting this in my irobot named jasmine so she can clean she cleans every sunday and thursday at 9 a.m so i'm going to clean the pad for that and then fill her back up with all the good stuff so that's my little haul from dollar general i need to scan my receipt to give me some points that's always linked in the description box you can sign up with my code so yeah i'm about to go ahead and shampoo condition deep condition my hair because my man is gonna come over here tomorrow and baby i can't be looking like this so yeah we're gonna get this together I think I already told y'all I detangled my hair and everything like that last night, but obviously until I actually get in there and shampoo and condition, I'm still gonna have some hair come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. It's already 7.23, so dang near 7.30. Um, I do wanna flat iron my hair. I don't wanna do like a slick back ponytail. I kinda wanna like have my hair straight for a little bit and then do a slick back ponytail. So with doing all of this and straightening it, I probably won't be done until like 11 o'clock, but I'm about to put on some YouTube videos. I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up on a lot of people, like a lot of people, girls. So that's what I'm about to start doing. Take this off and then I also still got like residue and stuff from gel and glue. So we're about to get this hair together. We're gonna see how long this take me. I have a little bit of this co-wash left. I got it turned upside down so I can get the rest of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish using this because my hair definitely could use a co-wash. Ain't been washing too much. So got me a co-wash and then I got just all kind of different products. The Aussie shampoo, then I got this conditioner and then my deep conditioner is the Miel deep conditioner. <laughs> so. We just gonna be brand hopping this whole wash day. And I'm going to, is this my towel? Yeah, it's my towel. Actually, I'm gonna keep this right here. I got a hook on the inside of my shower for my towels. Um, I'm gonna turn on my rainfall shower because it's much easier to get all of my head with that. So we're gonna go ahead and turn both of these on. Get that started. Yeah, so it's much easier washing your hair with the rainfall shower head on. And I wish, I always think about getting the shower mirror after the fact uh, that I'm about to like wash my hair. So I'm gonna turn off this light and then I like to turn on the light only in the shower while I'm doing my hair. This makes it easier on me.
blow dried my entire head. I definitely have some heat damage and breakage from when I had my hair out on this side. This side was already shorter because she cut when she cut my hair I was I had a side part going on this side so part was right here so this I was already shorter but like now since I had my leave out on this side I should have did the opposite side it's definitely much shorter so I know I had some breakage so I don't know if I'm gonna try to cut my hair myself or what but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and flatter my hair and then I'll figure out how I need to have my hair so I'm gonna do a quick little middle part straight down get that a little bit straighter nothing too you know perfect or whatever just on a middle part already put heat protectant on my hair when I was blow drying it so I'm not gonna do any heat protectant and plus I don't want to weigh my hair down so if anything I'm about to do like one little bitty like dime size of that and that's really even too much for this one section I'm just scrub it in real good and I like to kind of focus towards the ends since those are a little worse all right let's see I'm gonna try to brush that in okay so I have two different flat irons going. This one is from Walmart, I remember. It's Kim Kimball. I like this one. And then this one was sent to me for review like years ago. It's Devol. Um, it goes up to 450. I like this one, y'all see I be using this a lot, as well as this one. This one, if you can hear, when you close it, it vibrates. But I like this one because I can get really, really close to my scalp with this one because it kind of got like a bumper, if you will, on the side. Whereas this one, it's all flattered on the side. So if I put this up to my scalp, it's getting burnt. So I like to do this one like right at the scalp and then I'll do maybe like one little pass and then I will go in with this one. But usually, if so, I would just use this one. It's like when I get to the perimeter of my head is when I start to use this one. And then everywhere else in my head, I usually kind of just use this one. And my battery is about to die, so probably won't be able to show you guys this because my other battery is charging. So I'm gonna see if I can hurry and try to show you how I do this real quick. This one, since this one is pretty, like I can't really see, I'm gonna use the Kim one to get up really close. Woo! Still kind of burn myself there, as you can see. And then I kind of just go with one little pass and I'll either finish it with this one or I will go in with this one after I get like my roots and then I will finish with this one. And I usually use a rat tail comb as well, but the back of my hair is pretty thin. I don't really need to use a rat tail comb for that. And yeah, that's that. Usually only do one pass, maybe two. But that's pretty it. So we're done. And I don't know why my left side is usually always more poofy or puffy than my right side. Like my right side, silk baby like. Yeah, and then it's my left side that's just shitty. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, I don't know if I'm gonna do a middle part or side part because my hair is really uneven, honestly. Let's tell my hair grew because this side looks longer than my other side, like, my hair is so uneven. Get it. My hair looks two different colors. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, we're here. I'll probably do a side part tomorrow. Like, I need my hair like silk, like this close to me. <laughs> okay, <coughs> anyways, I'm gonna choke myself. My hair is definitely two different blacks. So, this part of my head is like a lot darker than the back side. Y'all can see that? Because I dyed this piece 
first and then I went back and tried to dye this. So I'm gonna have to dye the back of my head another black, well black again. So I really don't be understanding how my apartment be getting so messy when I'm the only person that lives here. Like, why do I constantly gotta take out the trash? Like, why is the trash constantly filling up? Why is my apartment steady getting messy when I'm the only person that live here? Like, it just don't make no sense. So I got a piece in the oven. Um, Bay, we was on the phone, supposed to be calling me back. It's 10.56 at night. Um, it's Wednesday night, so I got one more off day. I've been off for 10 days, and it just seemed like I've been off for maybe four. Like, I have not had an official off day to just sit at home and relax because each day <clears throat> I'm constantly doing something, and it's mostly like content has to go to Vegas. So it's just, I've just been on go. And tomorrow, honestly, it's not just a free day, but I'm gonna have to make it a free day because girl, I just need to relax, but I do need to clean up. So I'm about to clean up uh, for about, my pizza got 14 minutes. I'll probably clean up for about 30 minutes or so because I just I just don't understand how your house just gets so messy. Like, I know I be recording content and stuff and that usually always gets my house looking a mess, but girl, I just don't get it. Like, I feel like I be cleaning definitely feel like I clean every day because I cook every day so technically I do clean every day because I be you know doing the dishes and stuff like that this is a nail that I do need to open that I still ain't open yet I need to scan my receipt this is trash this is trash I'm so tired of Capital One sending me stuff baby I don't need no more credit cards I don't want no more credit cards leave me alone <sighs> so tomorrow I plan to unpack my suitcase because definitely not doing that tonight. Um, definitely tired. Tonight I'll probably, I was watching YouTube and stuff while I was doing my hair. So tonight I'll probably, um, I wanna take my sleeping pill because I don't wanna be up all night because I would like to wake up at least early tomorrow to kinda like go over my bills and stuff like that. But other than that, I kinda just wanna chill. And plus my man is gonna come after his haircut. He is off tomorrow, but I don't know if he gonna stay that long like he normally do because it is homecoming um, week and weekend or whatever at his HBCU, UHB. Um, he's graduating and everything, but you know, alumni or whatever. So since he has to work the rest of the weekend with all the other stuff gonna be happening, he's gonna probably, you know, do something <sighs> tomorrow as well. So I wanna spend a little bit of time with him and then after that, I'll probably just chill. Like I said, I need to go over my bills, see what I have left to pay. And I need to also order some inventory or figure out when I'm about to order inventory. And yeah, just kind of get my life together. But I usually do stuff like that at work. It keeps me busy for the 12 hours if the patients don't have me running around like crazy. So I like to Stay focused at work and plus working at the hospital is not something that I want to do for the rest of my life so when I get there it just basically kind of motivates me a lot more to get stuff done and get my life together while I'm at work because it's like baby this is not something that I want to do for the rest of my life <laughs> so yeah it's kind of just like a going to work honestly it's kind of just like a um pick me up and just makes me just want to go harder and strive for more so yeah that's that that's my little ted talk right now i just don't know how stuff just be getting everywhere i'm gonna keep this out here in case he call me back but this stuff goes in the office still got this liquor out right here and it's the fact I just did a clean with me <laughs> and baby girl my stuff is getting back a mess so what I like to do is set aside like 20 minutes or so and kind of y'all know I like to speed clean and kind of just clean as much as I can within like those 20 minutes 
and this office isn't that bad i just you know i've been editing i've been working got a lot of videos coming for y'all so i've been trying to do better i'm gonna slip this under here as well i need to charge my ipad This don't go in here. That is take this out. So I'm not gonna bore y'all with the cleaning because I did just do a full like Sunday reset. Y'all should be seeing that before this one. So I'm gonna clean up real quick for another like 20, 25 minutes, and then I'll probably just talk to y'all tomorrow and see how much footage I got for this vlog, and then we're gonna unpack my um. We're gonna unpack my suitcase and stuff and get that situated. Oh, and I wanted to say I bought these oatmeal cookies. I don't know if I showed y'all this from Dollar General. The packaging is different. If y'all OGs and y'all used to shop at Dollar General, then y'all know these oatmeal cookies used to come in like a, I wanna say yellow pack. And girl, I don't, I do not like oatmeal. I don't like nothing oatmeal, but these oatmeal cookies, the only ones I can eat is from Dollar General. They changed the packaging, but they still taste the same. But baby, these oatmeal cookies go off and they like a dollar or a dollar 25. They are so cheap, but girl, they are so good. I really only like like chocolate chips. So I be having to hide these from Bay because I got him on them too. Cause like when I get them, he'll tear them up. So I'm just gonna put them in this. I got four cookies left. They're definitely going to all be gone by tomorrow because every time he come up in here, he'll be looking for a snack. So I'm going to try to hide these and keep these for myself. But them oatmeal cookies from Dollar General, if y'all had them, comment down below. Baby, they go off. Like, they are so good. <sighs> so, yeah, and he, why is he up eating at 10 o'clock, baby? Now he's going to have to use the bathroom. I definitely going to have to wake up early because... I don't know, Prince, he don't like pooping pee in the house, but I don't, I be feeling bad having him hold his stuff for like a long time if I can just get up, take him out, and then come back in the house. So, oh, I need to set up my our robot because she gonna start mopping in the morning at nine o'clock. And if I don't got her filled up and ready, she not gonna mop. Or if I don't clean this little mop pad, she gonna uh, be mopping with a dirty mop pad. And baby girl, we don't want that because that's besides the point. Oh yeah, she used up all of that. And then I also need to clean this my pad. I need to buy some more actually from Best Buy. And then I'm about to just fill this up. They have reusable like my pads and then they have um, disposable ones. So I'll probably buy another reusable and then I'll buy a disposable because I'll be tired of having to like clean that out. I would much rather just, you know, take it off and then just pop on a new one. Mm. It smells so good. Hey, I do like the Mr. Clean smell a lot better than the Lysol, but it'll be okay. So that's usually how much I fill up the cleaning solution with, and then I'll just add water. Peach, I don't like to mix chemicals and stuff, but you know. So we're gonna do a dash of that. All right. Now I'm about to clean this. Usually what I do with this, I just pull off all the hair and stuff i like to do this over the trash can though and then i will wash it with dishwashing liquid i already put dishwashing liquid on here i'm gonna spray it with a little bit of lysol and i like to clean this in the bathroom sink i don't like to do this in the kitchen because even though you can clean it that's still nasty i just be feeling like it's not enough time in the day honey to do what all i need to do and get done like the day just go by so quick granted i did wake up at 11 didn't really get my day started until like what time like really one o'clock is when i left the house after doing all that assessing and stuff with on the phone but <clears throat> waking up i think i yeah my other vlog i woke up at like eight o'clock and like my day was so long so that's why i do really want to get up at like eight or nine o'clock tomorrow so that i can have like a full day to really just get stuff done because this waking up late ain't gonna do it, but you know, I am a night shift worker, so it just depends. I just gotta find balance until I can fully quit my job. 
MBA full-time content creator and business owner. Honestly, I could I could honestly do it now, but you know, I be needing money. And honestly, it is like a stability thing. Like if I didn't have a hospital job or like a corporate job or whatever, I probably would just BS all the time. Like I wouldn't really, you know, get up and do what I need to do until like the last minute. And I like that had a somewhere that you like physically clock into and kind of just, you know, keep me, what can I say? Keep me on track in a sense. Like I know this is what I gotta do and if I don't do it, then I'm not getting paid. And I mean, the same is for like YouTube and stuff. If I don't post videos, then you know, I'm not getting paid much. Like my pay gonna go down cause I ain't got no videos posted, but you know. Whatever. <laughs> now when I start just making thousands of dollars, then baby, that job ain't gonna see me. Honestly, I may still keep like a PRN shift and like just work like once a month or something just to kind of, you know, still be in that setting because I do still love to help people. And obviously working there is a lot of clientele for me and like exposure. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm not gonna just scrub and clean. Just be quick. All right. So we're gonna let her do her thing in the morning. I do try to make sure nothing's on the floor. Pray you get that job in time for that's only four hours away. Take a call, take a plane, baby. Whichever is fast. Whichever one is in the house. Babe, I need to take my plate with my fork and stuff on here. She heard my exercise. Baby, this ain't gonna cut it. Two hundred some dollars. <laughs> well, that's the least I can do. <laughs> the perfect Christmas present. Silverware. This came from Amazon. It was like twelve dollars. To bring your own, so you don't gotta use theirs. Hot. <laughs> Why you throwing like that? I'm missing. I'm missing a little salt and pepper. You need red chili flakes? Sometimes. Yeah. I've never tried them. I feel like they'll be too hot. A little spiky. Mm. 